is a little, just a quick little review of the Abo Gear uh, Beach Lugger Trolley. Just getting ready to put it together. Just took it out of its box. There's my other Abo Gear Beach Lugger Trolley right there in the corner. Been using that one for five years now and absolutely love it. As a matter of fact, this one was shipped at the same time that one was shipped. The company, and I can't remember who I ordered it from, made a mistake and sent me two. Um, I contacted them, kept saying, hey, send me a call tag. You've sent me two products, and they would never send a, re a, a tag to reship it. So basically, I had a, a free one here. So I've kept it in the box all this time. That one has finally got to the point where there's a couple of little buttons that allow the handle to go up and down, and those little buttons have disappeared. That's the only thing that's wrong with that cart. So I'm going to put this one together. Now, assembly can't be any easier. You've got one axle, you've got two cotter pins, and two washers. So there's one cotter pin on the axle. I just put the washer on there, and you've got two tires. And these tires are inflatable. They ha do have an inner tube in them. Actually, since these tires have been sitting in a box for five years, they were flat when I got them. I just took them and pumped them up, uh, which is a nice feature to this cart. You can, you know, the, the it's got a valve stem just like a car would have. So anyway, all I need to do is I just need to take the axle, stick it through the tire. Now take the axle and stick it through the hole in the bottom, take my other tire, stick it on here, okay, just like that, put the washer on, and take my other cotter pin, Slide it through. And there it is. Cart ready for action. Let me show you. I'm going to open it up here. Get that off of there. Okay. Hook these little belt, these little bungee straps. Ah, come on. What the heck? stuck here. Something's got me all tangled up. Let me figure this out. Then I'll okay, show you I, I figured got. it out. The little bungee straps here had just gotten themselves all twisted up. So, just a matter of untangling them. Now let me show you a couple of features about this Abo Gear Beach Lugger that I like and I like over all of the other carts. The main one is the depth of the platform down here. You know, on my website I talk about the wheelies, beach carts, which I think are fantastic, especially they have superior wheels than this beach lugger. Um, they're the big balloon tires, but their platform depth isn't the same. And going to show you here in a second what I put on this cart and why I like it. Now, the other features about this cart that I really love is what it folds up to. Okay, I've got a little smaller SUV and, you know, when you go to the beach, you fold it up like that. You take your little bungee cords and you wrap them around and now it's just pick it up put it in the back of the SUV. So that was the main feature that attracted me to this when I bought it was how easy it folded up. Okay, now let me undo it again so we can see some of the other features. Now, right here it's got a little locking bar that makes it sturdy. Personally, I don't ever use that. I kind of like it back in this little bit more reclined position. Okay, and then the other feature is it's got over here, it's got a handle that can go up and down and that locks. 
and that's for its transport. And that's the part on my old one. The only thing on my old one that is destroyed, it's these two little push buttons right here. They're both gone. And so my handle won't stay up. So now that I've got this one pulled out, I'm actually going to go fix that one. I'm going to rig it up so I can make it because I'm not going to get rid of it. I'll use both of them. Okay. And then last little piece is it's got this nice little pouch that has a zipper on it. And, you know, car keys, you know, sunscreen, whatever you want to put in there. It's a great little pouch for you. Okay. Now let me show you my typical trip to the beach and what I'm going to have on this cart. My igloo cube cooler put up on the front. Now this cooler is a big cooler but look at the room that I have right back here. That's what I love so much about this cart. Okay. Then I take my two beach chairs. One right there. The other one right there. Okay, both are in there nice and secure. And one last item the beach bag. Okay, then you take your straps, bring them over the back. attach them. Get my handle up. There we go. Okay, and now I'm ready to go. And this cart handles all of that super easy. That's why I like this cart. And as much as I put on there, it's still sturdy and you know if I needed to make things a little more sturdy if I was dragging it quite a ways down the beach I might take another bungee and strap it around this way to give it a little more stability but never really had to do that so great beach cart right here you're gonna like this one So here I am at our beach site for the day. You just saw me walk across the beach pulling Abo Gear Beach Roller Lugger. It's got all our stuff on it today. I've got my Polar Bear collapsible cooler. By the way, folks, if y'all have never seen a Polar Bear, this is the best collapsible cooler you can buy. Very reasonable. Had our beach bag with all of the flippers and masks and towels and all of that good stuff in it. An umbrella, two beach chairs, everything that we need. It was so simple, unloaded out of the car. You saw me how I packed it up. Now at the beginning of the video, I was using my big blue igloo cooler. We use that cooler when we are coming over to the beach for a long day and we're packing a big lunch and all that stuff. Actually this week we're staying at the beach, so haven't been using the big cooler. Although I'm getting to feel that this cooler right here will handle everything that that big one will. Anyhow, back to the beach lugger. Rolls in the sand easy. Um, may not be as good as one of the big balloon tired carts, uh, but there's other features about this cart that I like better. I talked about the wide base on it so I can fit more stuff on the cooler. But anyway, hope you liked that video. You saw how soft the sand was and I'm rolling in. This is about as soft a sand as anybody is going to get. You're not going to find a beach that has much softer sand. So this is a great cart. For the money, I don't think you can beat it.